This clip is brought to you by BattleOnline.com. And you spoke briefly on AJ Johnson, um, and you know, recently we had his passing. Can you recount any, you know, experiences of AJ? What it was like when he was around him? AJ was like family, man. We used to have a lot of fun with AJ. AJ was like he fit right in when he got with us. It looked like he just fit right in with us, you know. <laughs> I remember when he had to go do a little initiation. Everybody that get with us got to go through a little initiation. And um, we beat the hell out of AJ. God bless, God, God forgive me, but he beat the hell out of AJ one day, man, on the movie set. Really? <laughs> That's crazy. I think, I think Mr. Servon hit him the hardest. Mr. Servon and Earl, Earl Carter. Earl hit the man in his chest and the man spit up gold. Now, now, wait, hold up. Um, how tall was AJ again? AJ looked like he was about five two, five three, something like that. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm speculating because he a short guy, right? I'm, I'm guessing everybody else is pretty tall. I, I was, a, I think I was the shortest dude in No Limit. <laughs> For real? Yeah, I'm five nine. Okay. I was oh. the shortest. When I used to walk through the crowd, with PP would be holding me by my shirt, and I look back, he's like. Something behind me, this high, and I'm way <laughs> down here, taking them through the crowd, you know. Yeah, you know. So you know that's that's being the muscle behind the hustle, which obviously we see on the shirt and stuff. But sliding back to that AJ initiation, because I didn't want to really take you off that topic. I was just more just saying, like when he said serve, I don't know these big guys hitting him. I'm just thinking his, his little, you know, he a little dude and stuff like that. So um, yeah. I'm guessing it was all in, you know, good fun and good spirit and stuff like that yeah, as well. Yeah, but... good fun and good spirit. He wasn't the only one who went through that. All the rappers went through that. All of them went through it. Yeah. Yeah. But it was it went as bad as like we hear it like Death Row, I guess, where they had um we say people was getting beat up if they wanted a record deal or jumped in and stuff like that. No, no, no. We didn't do all that. We were, every like you said, everything with us was good spirit and good fun. It was all family orientated, man. We used to have a lot of fun with what we do. So let me ask you this. Did you have to go through any kind of hazing or initiation yourself then? Or was it um because you were you you know, you're a big hitter, it wasn't necessary? I was gonna hit back. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna hit back. They hit me, I was gonna hit back. No, I was already there, man. I mean um, that's when we were bringing guys in. I was already there. I didn't have to go through that. Yeah, yeah. You know, I get you being established and stuff. I was young, wild, you know, seeing more money than I ever seen before. I never seen money like that before, man. I was out there wilding out, man, trying to impress the streets and trying to impress the crowd, you know. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking from a business aspect, and I didn't have nobody to grab me and pull me to the side and say, say, bro, you need to be doing this with this money or that for that money. Or you need to be trying to open up something for your future. I thought No Lemon was going to last forever. That's the feeling I had because that was what was fed to me. That's how it came to me. You know, dude made us think that this was going to last forever. And, and and all of a sudden, you know, you, you see for yourself where it came and how it came to a stop. And that's why... I'm putting this book out because things like that is going to be in the book. You understand? You can hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, bro. Yeah, things like that is going to be in this book, man. I mean, business is one thing. Pleasure is another. If you're going to do business, you got to do business. You got to get everything in paperwork. If you work for somebody and they verbally tell you something, don't just go for that. Get it in the paperwork. Get it in writing. If they don't want to put it down in writing, that means it's not real from the beginning. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna promise, you're gonna promise me to do something, or you're gonna promise me something, you should be able to put that in writing if you mean it. And I just want people to, I just want people to learn from the mistakes that I made dealing with a rep company because I quit a job, a career job, working for the state to where I'll be retiring right now with benefit. If I would have stayed with the state, I could be retiring right now doing good but I chose to leave I chose to leave and go with this dude and this end result 
you know. So it's nobody's fault but mine. I should have, I should have, I should have, I should have, I should have been paying attention to what was going on instead of just worrying about running them streets and drinking Hennessy and, you know, and, and, and getting down. <laughs> I ain't gonna go there. Just get down <laughs> in the streets like I was doing. Peace, family. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on about.online.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.